Warning, the following feature contains content not suitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello ladies and gents, be Kevin 7 here, and with me, my co-commentator Tari, and welcome to Friday Night Smackdown! Ooh boy, let me tell you, we got a home dinner of the event lined up tonight, don't we? You and me both, including a main event that is sure to knock people's socks off. And this main event is one that nobody will see coming, even though their name was John Cena. Anyway, let's say we head on to our first match of the night, which is a tag team match. Lawrence and Nagumo versus Rated RKO. Looks like it's on. And with this, the match is underway. Lawrence and Edge starting off. Ooh. Okay. Ow. Up. Irish whip into the corner. Ooh. Lawrence giving him the works. Oh, really giving it to him now. This is not where Edge wants to be. Right now he's thinking one or two things, Cole. I need to get out of here. Or I'm gonna answer this call and pay him back. Up to the corner. Going for the double team. And now it's Nagumo's turn to have fun. Edge has got to get his wits about it. Ooh, that's got to leave a mark. Looking for, oh. yeah, the end. Going for a figure four right here. Okay. Looking for the suplex. Ooh. That's got to leave a mark. Oh, Irish whip into the corner. And a tag was made, going for the double team. Ooh. Ooh, Edge saw that one coming. Up and here's the tag, and in comes Randy Orton. Will it be? Up going for the pin. Oh, not even a one count. Anyone had this much in them at this point? Oh, Lawrence saw that one coming. Irish whip into the corner. Tag was made. Going for the double team. Up. Ooh, Orton saw that one coming. Oh, Nagumo saw that one coming. Ooh, belly to belly. Ooh, trying to have a little fun out there. Oh, Orton ate the price for that. That's what you get for not paying attention. This. this isn't gonna end well. Oh, go for the double team. Oh, one, but that's not all. Ooh. If this keeps up, this is not gonna pull well for rated RKO. Double team. Up. Oh. Irish whip into the corner, but up oh, Edge tags himself in. Ooh, what is Nagumo planning? Oh, he is not. Is he really gonna go for it? Oh, 
sweet Lady Valentina, double choke slam, and here's the cover. Call this one done. And just like that, Lawrence and Nagumo takes home the victory in our first match of the night. What do you think about that, Tari? That was quite an exciting bout. And now for our Hold on. I just received word that a backstage brawl between Hajime Nagumo and Turles just broke out. Let's take you to the action. As if you couldn't already tell, a backstage brawl between Hajime Nagumo and Turles has just broke out. Seems Turles has targeted Hajime Nagumo for some reason. But it seems Hajime is fighting back. Establishing control face buster. And Hajime is showing Turles who's boss here. Ooh, to the knees. Ow! Suplex. Oh. Not done just yet. Going for a second one. And looking for the trifecta. Not done yet. Going for a third. Hajime is showing no mercy towards Turles. None whatsoever. Oh, Turles saw that one coming. Ooh. Hajime was able to counter that one. Oh, but Turles countered that one. Hajime countered that one. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's going for a second one. Ooh. There are no limits going for a third. Here. It be chilling to see the lengths. Someone's willing three for to, three. to destroy another human being. And by chilling, I mean beautiful. Ooh. Oh. Ow. Did you hear Ow. That? He's begging him to get up oh. so he can put him back down. <laughs> Uh, oh, stunner! Stunner! stunner. What does what does Hajime have planned? Oh, he's got a chair. He's got a chair, oh, and he's oh, giving Turles the chair. Oh, God. Oh, strong impact. That is not a way to ask he someone for a seat. Oh, Turles was starting to fight back there for a sec. Take down. Oh, helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Up, going for the chair again. Yeah, this is definitely not a way you should ask someone to take a seat. Like I said. Hajime is showing no mercy to Turles. None whatsoever. Now what now what is Hajime up to? Is he going for another chair? Oh no, he's going for the table! Oh boy, Turles is starting to fight back now. Turles is starting to fight back. And Turles is going for a seat now. Oh, but Hajime stopped him. Whoa, monster plex. All right, Hajime going for the table again. And Turles stopped him again. That was just disrespectful. He turns it around. Ooh. Oh, the knee takes a big Earless hit. is starting to fight back here. Hammerlock wrenched in. Yep, Earless is starting to fight back. Turning the table. 
Kills there. Oh, but how'd you make saw that one coming? What exactly is Hachime planning, though? We know it has something to do with that table. Ooh! Knocked him down with the table. Oh, Hachime is setting up the table. What, he's got planned here, guys. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Well, for Turles, it can't be good. Oh! Gentlemen, there's a storm on the way. Big storm! Through the table! Through the table! And that is the game! Yowza! That was very brutal. Good luck trying to get those splinters out of him, though. Anyway, let's head on to our next match now, which is a singles match, which is... Am I reading this right? Violet versus Violet? Oh, right, 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 right. Sothis, Sothis, right. So, it's technically Bylus versus Sothis, but I'm reading it as Bylus versus Bylus. Well, let's get right to it then. One for the mana, two for the BO, three to get ready. Now, let's start the show. And Bylus starts off strong. Ooh, that had to hurt. But, in all honesty, this mirror match has got to feel weird for Bylus as it does for Sothis. Because it's basically like looking into a mirror. Ooh, look. Turnbuckle and ooh. Not in the position you want to be in right now. Ooh, Sothis got out of there. Okay, so this is fighting back now. Fireman's carry. Up and Ooh. Going for the cover. Ooh, didn't even get the one count. Ooh. Swing and a miss. Okay, Violet continuing her assault, but Sothis saw that one coming. Ooh, Violet was one move ahead on that one. Ooh, Violet is just continuing her assault. Up, going over the top rope. Go over the top rope. She begins to up. Ellen still does to get up. Launch it. Ooh. And she's been brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, but she can't allow this surge to frustrate her. No mercy. Violet is showing no mercy. Right through the jaw, that had to hurt. Oh, Sotus saw that one coming. Oh, but Violet countered it. Oh, super kick. And she is rapidly dictating the pace. She's reading everything her opponent is trying to throw at her. Oh. Going for the cover, could this be it? And it's over! It is over! Okay, now that we got that weird mirror match out of the way, let's say we go back to tag teams. Our next matchup is Turkana and Brittany versus Team Compass. Let's get to the action. Alright, we are back with tag team matches. This time it is Turkana and Brittany versus East and Est of Team Compass. 
And it seems Turkana is starting off strong. She hit the corner hard. Ooh, to the turnbuckle. Vicious. Going for the double team. Uh, but now it's Brittany's turn. Ooh, that had to hurt. No mercy. They are showing no mercy today. Oh! Clever thinking on S's part and on E's part. Oh, got a cover but couldn't get a single one count. Oh, Brittany saw that one coming. To the turnbuckle. Tag was made. Going for the double team. Oh! Ow! Stop in the midsection. Ooh, he's just gonna feel that in the morning. Oh, out of the ring. Oh, yeah. Sarkana trying to have a little fun out now. there. And what is Sarkana playing to do? No. Uh, what was the plan there exactly? Oh, back into the ring. Oh! Turkana was able to counter that. Oh, going for the turnbuckle. Oh, knees to the midsection. Ooh. Ow. Oh. Resistance here. Yeah, the faults in her game plan are being oh, laid back. Back to the turnbuckle. Tag was made. Going over the double team. Oh! He saw that one coming. Oh. Oh! He was about to tag her partner, Esten, but. Just couldn't, just couldn't get there fast enough. Vicious combination of strikes. Ooh, combination of blows right there. Able to sidestep it. Ooh, boot to the face. She adjusts it and reverses it. Ooh. As he is fighting back, going for the figure four here. Ooh. Ooh. Brittany was able to fight out of that. Setting it up. Ooh. To the turnbuckle, tag was made. Double team. Oh, DDE. Up to the turnbuckle. Tag was made. What are they doing now? Double team tag finisher. Forget it. She's counting sheep. Up and down goes S. Could this be it? And this one is done. 
All right, let's say we head on back to single matches, and let's say we spice things up a bit, shall we? The following contest will be an Extreme Rules match, and it'll be for the Hardcore Championship. What do you think about that? All right. Hardcore Champion Rob Van Dam versus Challenger Bardock. Let's get it on. And here we go. Extreme Rules match is underway. Now remember, in an Extreme Rules match, there are no disqualifications, no countouts, anything goes. And it seems Bardock is starting off strong. Oh, this is gonna be great. Ooh, one. Two. And perhaps a trifecta. And a three. Uh, what, what, what's Bardock doing? He leaves the ring and there's no count Oh, he's looking under the ring for a weapon. Oh, but Rob Van Dam stopped him. Now, like I said, in an extreme rules match, there are no countouts, no disqualifications. So the fans are getting more than their money's worth tonight. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Oh. And Bardock pulls out a sledgehammer. Oh, that could not feel good. That could not feel good. Is there something to focus on when preparing for this career altering match? Guess something else me Bardock wanted to hammer the point home. Never been punished before. Oh. No mercy Telling him to get up. You can oh, but RBD saw that coming. You. You can set the rule book oh, you can tell he's Bardock trying to go for another weapon. Oh, this time it's a baseball bat. Ooh, but RVD stopped him. Oh, RVD just yeeted Bardock out of the ring. Oh. Two. Gonna go for the third one? Nope. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Ooh, swing over the fences with the baseball bat there. Bardock is swinging for the fences. What the? Oh, hi, Bardock. Don't mind us. Don't mind us. I don't know what Bardock has planned, but it can't be good for RBD. Ooh, RBD saw that one coming. Ooh, back into the ring. And now back out of the ring. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Whoa. Ow. RVD is fighting back. Saw that one coming. Ooh, right to the right to the corner of the ring. Oh, RBD got a tear. Ooh, countered. Ooh. I think he landed on that tear there. Ooh. Ooh, Bardock rolled out of the way in time. Ooh, saw that one coming. Wow. 
RVD knows his title is on the line, so he is fighting with everything he's got. Oh. Oh. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Oh, he saw that one coming. Oh, what is he doing? Not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. Oh! Power bomb. Oh, he ain't finished yet. Oh, is he really going to go for it? Is Bardock really going to go for it? He is through the announcer table. Oh, wow. Ow. And right to the steel steps. He's in. All right, back into the ring. Into the ring again. For the and here's the cover. And we have a new champion. Here is your winner and the new hardcore champion, the Urban Gladiator, the future loser. A victory worthy of a new champion. Safe to say things did not go to plan here tonight. Yeah, no one ever plans on losing their title. And congratulations, Bardock, for winning the Hardcore Championship. All right, ladies and gents, the moment you've all been waiting for, the main event of the night. In this corner, Leah Wolverine and Asuna Yuki, the Arkham Champion and Women's Arkham Champion, respectively. And in this corner, their opponent, the new Nexus, Goku Black and Quinella. The stakes for this matchup has never been higher. Should... The new Nexus win. Not only do they get to be the new Arkham and Women's Arkham Champion, but Leo will be forced to join the new Nexus, thus fulfilling Quinella's prophecy. But, should Leo and Asuna win, not only do they keep their titles, but the new Nexus, Goku Black and Quinella, can never challenge Leo and Asuna for their championships again as long as they remain champions. Talk about high stakes, huh? All right. Then let's get to it, then. Leo and Asuna versus Quinella and Goku Black. Again, the stakes for this matchup has never been higher. So, let's get to it, then.
and their opponents, the new Nexus. I am so excited to see these two work together. Two of my absolute favorites are teaming up. Yeah, the WWE fans going crazy. And here we go, main event of the night. Quinella and Asuna starting off. But remember, the stakes of this match has never been higher. If the new Nexus wins, not only do they get to be the new champions, but Leo will be forced to join the new Nexus, thus fulfilling Quinella's prophecy of her ruling by his side. But should Leo and Asuna win, not only do they keep their titles, but the new Nexus can never challenge them for their championships as long as they remain champions. So, the stakes for this match has never been higher. And right now, Asuna is giving Quinella the works. So the third buckle. Oh, Quinella saw that one coming. Oh, but Asuna countered. Ooh, one, two, going for a third, three for three. All right. There the tag was made. Now Leo and Goku Black take the stage. Oh, the first double team. Okay, now Leo Wolverine and Goku Black take the stage. Kicks to the lower Leo's growing up against his daddy not so dearest. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here. Showing him no mercy. I gotta say, these two have had back, have had, have had... That's the one I'm looking for here. Oh yeah, these two have had more bad blood with each other than the Mishimas, and that's saying something. Oh! Zamasu saw that one coming. Oh! But Leo countered. Alright, ooh, to the turnbuckle, knees to the midsection. Ooh, boot to the fist. Ooh, that had the hoop. Alright, to the turnbuckle. Tag was made. Going for another double team. Oh, but the new Nexus somehow countered to that. Quinella going for the cover. Didn't even get a one count. Uh, trying to go for the top turnbuckle. Ooh, but Quinella figured it wasn't worth it. Trying to go for the top rope, but nobody home. Oak stomps to the midsection. Kicks to the lower back. Clutching the wrist. Both teams know what's on the line here. They both know what's on the line here. Not only are their idols on the line. These guys have been looking to beat each other up for a while, and now it's their chance. But the fate of Leo's future is on the line as well. He's 
And speaking of Leo, growing up with his daddy not so dearest once more. Aren't looking too good for Leo. He gets the tag, Up, tag was made to Quinella. Ooh! Asuna was able to catch Quinella off guard with that. Wow. Both teams are not giving an inch because they know exactly what's on the line. Placed into the corner. Muscled all the way up. Ooh, pick up on the ground and right back to the ground. All right, tag was made. Going for the double team. DDT! Short ride, bad landing. Hey, once again, Leo's grown up with his daddy not so dearest. Oh! Zamasu's starting to fight back now. Oh! And Zamazu was sent over the top rope. Okay, now they're fighting outside of the ring. They need to get back into the ring, otherwise they'll be counted out. All right, back into the ring they go. into the corner tag was made going for another double team oh double sweet in music going for the cover she certainly looked to be in trouble oh only got the one count wow the new nexus knows what's on the line here they know what's on the line What's coming next? Hooked up. And a face buster. Uh oh. Oh. Well, I think I know what's coming. She might be going for it. Get ready. Black mass. That gotta leave a mark. Going for the cover. Oh, that was like two and a half. Somehow, Quinella managed to kick out of Black Mass. Alright, tag was made. Going for the double team. And once again, Leo and Goku Black run off. One suplex. Two suplex. Three. Uh oh. Ooh, power bomb. Oh, Goku Black's fighting back now. Ooh. Going for the cover. Ooh, didn't get the one count. Tag was made to Quinella. Both teams are going at it. Hey, both both teams know what's on the line here. It is loud and it is mad in here. Yeah, Ross Howard, 
man. Like I said, these pink inks are showing, are showing no signs of stopping. Systematic attack on that shoulder. Oh, Quinella stopped it. Quinella's fighting back now. An attack was made. And Goku Black used the referee. That is a dirty move of him. Oh! Leo was able to counter that. Oh, but Samazu is fighting back. Going for the cover. Ooh, didn't even get a one count. And a tag was made. Up. Ooh, from the top earn buckle. Ow, DDT. Like I said, both of these teams are showing no signs of stopping because they know what's on the line here. They know what's on the line here. New Nexus wins, they become new champions, and Leo is forced to join the New Nexus. But if Leo and Asuna wins, they they stay champions and they are and the New Nexus will never be challenged. And the New Nexus will never challenge Leo and Asuna for their titles as long as they remain champions. Going for the double team. Double switch in music. Roll the credits. This one's done. The volume in this building has increased exponentially. The fans are willing these competitors Ooh. to push forward. Win or lose, these superstars are going to be held in high esteem after this one. Oh boy. Uh oh. The Leo's going for it. The end is nigh. Black Mass. Could this be it? It's over! It is over! Match. He earned that victory. Here are your winners, the Alliance! Now that was the best of both worlds. What a fun mixed tag match. Yeah, as out of a couple as they have seemed to be coming into this match, they simply gelled in a way that it seemed their competition simply could not. Kind of like us, guys. I actually prefer to think of our dynamic more like a two-on-one handicap match against you, Saxton. And with that, not only has Leo and Asuna retained their titles, but Goku Black and Quinella can never challenge them for those titles again for as long as they remain champions. And with that, our show has come to a close. What do you think of all the action we've seen tonight, Tari? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If y'all liked this video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and please click the bell for notifications. It really means a lot to me and to Tari as well. And speaking on Tari's behalf, this is Big BigCammy007 saying good fight, good night.